Good afternoon and welcome to this special edition of our virtual primary assembly. Now it's a special assembly for three reasons. Firstly, we are celebrating Earth Day, which as I am sure you know, took place yesterday and was celebrated all around the world. During the assembly today, we will be sharing some of the absolutely outstanding work from across the primary school with you. Secondly, I am joined by some members of our primary school council who are going to help present parts of the assembly. And thirdly, I would like to show you a very exciting new part of our school campus, which is going to have its grand opening on Monday when we welcome back our reception to year five students. I wonder if you can work out where exactly I am in the school. Well, I am here in the area just next to the bubble. Since you've been online, we have turned this into our eco community garden. There's still a lot of work to do, but that is where you come in. And starting from next week, all our students are going to be helping to prepare and plant the garden. And yesterday, Miss Ellaby and I went for a bit of a shopping trip. Here's how we got on. Hi everyone, so here we are in the Oasis Garden Centre. We're trying to look for um, some plants for our new Eco Garden, which is going to be opening and waiting for you on Monday morning. So already we've picked out lots of different herbs and uh, plants that you're going to be planting in the garden. Here's our selection so far. We've got mint, we've got uh, lemongrass, we've got tomatoes. We're going to try to find some strawberries. So very, very exciting. Miss Ellaby's here just choosing the, the plants now with us. <laughs> Here's Miss Ellaby with her trolley full of plants ready for you to plant. So we have lots of plants and herbs all ready for you to plant next week. But we are always happy to receive more. So if you would like to donate a plant or herb for our garden, you are more than welcome to bring them in starting from next week. Now, last week's challenge was for you to send in a video related to Earth Day. Your teachers were amazed by the work that you produced, and I'd like to share some of the videos with you now. First up is Aidan's amazing stop motion animation. Let's take a look. Hi guys, welcome to my lesson. Today we are going to learn about how to save the world. You have to plant a tree and wait. And if there is a place close to your house or where you are, you can ride your bike. Let's remind you of what I just said. First, you have to plant a tree and then wait. Second, if there's a place close to your house or where you are, you can ride your bike. Now you know how to say the word. Goodbye. professional film Aidan and I loved how the second half shows how you filmed the animation. Great job. Next up we have an Earth Day message from Kaylin. The Earth is beautiful. The Earth is powerful. The Earth is life, which is why we are here. The Earth is why we are alive. And look at what we have done. Trees have been chopped down and we are getting less oxygen. And animals are ex getting extinct very easily. And we have to help the earth. So please, we have to plant more trees. We also have to do more stuff than you think. We have to save water. A lot of stuff are happening on this earth, which is why we are alive. So please... So please, please, please help the earth. We can do it together because, because earth, there's only one planet that we can live on. 
Earth. So we have to take care of Earth because if we don't, the Earth will be less powerful than ever. So yeah, and if we help the Earth, you know what will happen. The Earth will be way more powerful. So please, every three seconds, bad stuff happen. Trash get get through into the sea and the sea inside there are animals. We have to help the animals too. Not only plant more trees, we also have to save the animals. So please share this. Okay? Bye. A very powerful message, Kaylin. Well done. Now we have a video from our man in year two about our beautiful planet. <laughs> Thank you, Arman, for your video. Next up, we have Zeti, who rose to the challenge and built an awesome, sustainable city in Minecraft. Let's take a look. Oh, so hi, guys. Uh, I'm gonna show my Minecraft world that I built. And, and it starts with this big door surrounded with leaves it kind of uh, reminds some people of the bermuda triangle i don't know if they call it that probably so you've got an opening system mechanical quick, quick, quick. and it has a mechanical opening trick uh which i had a little bit of help and bam look it just opens by itself and here's like the it's like the water station thing, which, which makes water from the ocean, which uses water, reuses the water from the ocean, and here's, here's a house, a little water station. house, a water station, a water station, uh, yeah, mm. Before eco house full and here's of flowers. My, here's my own house filled with flowers, which I think is really uh, helpful. Cause if a, a city is sustainable, then there must be a lot of plants to make a lot of oxygen. Okay. Yeah. Next, okay. you've got next. Here's like the wheat. The plant house. The plant house. It's really simple, it's just plants. And we put some water every like some block away. So if the wheat falls out, we can just jump in the water and collect it. Sorry, we can collect it from the water. So it keeps the water that hydrated. It keeps the, so, and it also helps by keeping the land hydrated. Okay, tree. next here's that very huge tree house what we have. Let's start at the top. So, okay, let's look at it from up. It actually has a lot of things in it. Outstanding work there, Zaiti. I really enjoyed watching your sustainable world and I'm sorry we didn't have time to show your whole video. Next up, we have Oliver from the school council 
sharing some facts about Earth Day. Five facts you probably didn't know about Earth Day. Senator Gay Lord Nelson convinced Earth Day in the 19 early 60s. The first Earth Day was in 1970. The government responded to Earth Day with an environmental legalization. Earth Day went global in 1990. About 1 billion people recognize Earth Day each year. Earth Day always falls on April 22nd. As you know, normally we have the Mr. Spinks challenge of the week, but this week we handed it over to our primary student council. So here's Shyla's challenge of the week. Hi, hello, my name is Shyla, and today I'm going to show you my system to how to save the earth. So, so the first thing is save water. How do you save the water? You can save the water by not wasting it and, and drink and if and if someone gives you a water, just drink the whole cup. And and first of all, when you're when you're getting some water, you should get a you should get how much you want to drink. Okay, so that's how to save the water. Let's say save tree. Uh, first of all, you should not cut the tree because animals live in a forest, which which is dangerous. For them, because then they will just leave the forest because people are keep cutting trees and that's not safe for them. Okay, and and do not cut a flower or something, but just pick a flower uh, which is already falling. Okay, next is uh, pollution out. First of all, when you're driving a car, the pollution should be out. Otherwise. Uh, Otherwise, the, the air would be all dusty, and and the whole earth would be would be like all all not nice, and it, and it might be sick. So so this was my poster, and I hope you make a great poster like this. Bye. Thank you, Shyla, for your challenge of the week. Please do have a go at making a poster and hand them to Shiloh or any member of the Primary School Council next week. In Year 1, Abigail for a passion for helping to keep our planet a healthy and safe place and her fantastic Earth Day poster. In Year 2, Rosie for being a risk taker. Rosie isn't afraid of trying new things like learning about fractions and maths she knows mistakes are part of learning. Arthur for always being reflective during feedback sessions, producing great work as a risk taker when going from optional projects and being very resourceful throughout the Earth Day activities. In year three, Anders for writing and performing a powerful poem for Earth Day and for being super resourceful and creative with his seesaw projects by making a float car out of recycled materials. Hi, what I did for my CISO project was the art. So we get lots of old stuff and then you make something out of it. And I made a car out of these old stuff. It's better for floating, so it doesn't really go. But if you put it in the bath, and, or you put it in a river and there's lots of wind. Here's that would push it. And it also floats because it has plastic. And it has paper. Well, it's mostly what we would recycle and usually would not use again. So this is it. Bye! Flizza for being a risk taker and using excellent resourcefulness to create and perform her song for Earth Day. Protect our Earth. I love my Earth. I love it. But now we have to clean it. Or we will die. World Earth Day is almost here. Is almost here. Protect the earth. 
trees are getting chopped. There we there will be no oxygen. Then we will die. Protect the earth. Protect the earth. The earth will be happy when we clean him. Okay, guys, let's protect the earth. Let's go. In year four, we have Sadem for communicating her ideas confidently through her upcycle project and her enthusiastic poetry. In the other year four class, we have Al Mayaza for being thoughtful about our planet by writing and singing a poem for the trees of her garden and for expressing her creativity in Seesaw Project by making a home and a bird feeder for the birds who visit her garden. Trees let me dance, trees let me sing in the village. Do you let me smile, trees? Let me dance all day long. Whoa, oh, 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 I love trees. In year five, we have Shamu for being resourceful and creative by making fantastic videos, including reciting a poem for Earth Day, dissecting a flower in science, and acting out an evening in an air raid shelter during World War II. Congratulations, Shamu. Hello, in this video I will present you my poem, what I wrote about uh, Earth Day, and uh, its title is Dear Earth. So let's start. You are green, you are a marvelous scene. In the morning, you give us sunshine. In the evening, sparkling stars. You, you have charming faces such as beautiful green forests, delicious goods and awesome creatures among your feet. You are the most special plants in the whole universe who gives us resources we never thought before. We sadly pollute you and don't care about you enough. There are too much wasting and terrible destroying. The global warming is not helping you. It just takes the unbelievable charming of you. Happily, there are also kind and helpful people who care about you. Let's save you. Let's save people. In the other year five class, though, we have Yonchi for consistently producing work to a high standard giving reflective feedback to his peers and being resourceful during class projects. Now in year six, we have Andras for being resourceful, caring and positive force in the protection of our planet by cleaning up the rubbish outside in his street. And we have Lily in the other year six class for her spoken language skills, giving clear and concise speeches about waste and why balloons are bad for the environment. Now it's time for our house points competition. In the fourth place, we have Team Ruby with 69 points. In third place, Emerald with 102 points. Now in second place, we have Team Sapphire with 105 points. And not far ahead, we have Amber with 107 points. Congratulations, Amber. Our team of Ronnie, Philip, Zita, Noemi and Jorka have been working really hard cleaning, painting, fixing, preparing and rearranging everything ready to welcome our reception to Year 5 students back on Monday. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to them. We are looking forward to seeing you on Monday and then Year 6 in two weeks time. Thank you to David, Shaila, Shevnem and Oliver for your help presenting this assembly and have a lovely weekend everyone.